YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and I have some thrifty finds, tags, and the coolest African American Santa wrapping paper to share. But first, I'm going to start with some thrifty finds. I found these candles, they're floating candles, and they're called the Uncandle, and I got these in three different sizes. Now, while I'm shopping, I like to Google what items are, kind of get some history on them. And I found out that these were made in the 70s. And um, they were only $2 with 20% off discount. So I'm a 70s kind of girl. I love the 70s and I do love candles. I had never heard of the uncandle before. Never heard of a floating type candle. So you get two candles in a package. This is the medium size, and I like the shape of this. And then you get your wicks and your candle holders. And I'm gonna show you how, how this, how it works. Because you use water and oil, and of course, the wick. So I have water in my candle holder with about an inch of oil and then you see the wick now my wick is kind of buried down deep i do believe the flame can be higher but i actually laid my wick down instead of having it upright so i had to adjust it but i think it's super duper cool and i love the shape of the candle holders now this is the longest one that was available and i've spray painted mine because I'm gonna use these in some home decor. So, so super cool and at 20% off two bucks, well, I couldn't pass that up. If you guys have these candles or if you know of these candles, please leave what you know in the description box. I love all things 70s and my store had a lot of these. And by the way, I did go on Etsy and one set, I'm not sure what size, they're going for like 15 bucks, not including shipping. So this was an excellent deal. Okay, so it was my day to find fabric. <laughs> the thrift stores, they're the perfect place to find fabric because you find the good stuff, right? I mean, those pretty patterns. And of course, you get it at amazing prices. So I am a lover of bears. I'm not going to open up the fabric entirely. I had to move the candle out of the way. But take a look at these bears. <laughs> Blue jean bears. <laughs> so stinking cute. Look at this one with the sweater and the hat on. I just love it. And I paid two bucks for this with 20% off. Now, you guys know I went crazy because <laughs> somebody must have got rid of well, not just their teddy bear fabric, but their gingerbread fabric. And that is what I found, let me tell you. <laughs> I love these sheets of fabric. Now, these type of patterns, you, you cut them out. You cut them out and you can make dolls. In this case, you could use these pieces to make ornaments and so much more. But take a look at the gingerbread houses, right? And then they're on both sides. I got some Santas. I got, I thought, okay, angels, tree, and I thought there were bear, oh, look at the candy canes. So I can cut these pieces out and make ornaments, make pin cushions. Take a look at the horse, the horsey. And I think I paid maybe three bucks. Yep, three bucks for this one with 20% off. Now, I found more, you guys. <laughs> this one here actually makes, I think, Santa's outfit, right? So you can't see it all here. But what I do like about these fabrics, well, you don't have to use the actual tissue pattern. You could just cut out the pattern right from the fabric. I'm thinking the same person got rid of all this. And this is a big piece of fabric. 
So you see the different pieces I got in the larger sizes. And I paid four bucks for this with, oh, you know what? Here it is. It makes this outfit for the bear. <laughs> so stinking cute. So $4 with 20% off. Now check out this one, you guys, because I'm not done with gingerbread. <laughs> All this fabric was together. I got in line and decided to go back to the fabric section and so happy I did because I didn't see this one but it makes a gingerbread house right who got rid of this and this is folded so you can't see it all but it would be so easy to create this gingerbread house and this was also three dollars with 20 20 percent off so stinking cute and then now this is the largest piece of them all <laughs> and i'm so happy because look at this <laughs> this gingerbread house you can't see it all but take a look at all of these gingerbread houses the hearts and of course the gingerbread those are bears. Yeah, that's the girl. And then this is the boy. And then take a look at this house. So this is a big piece of fabric. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't sew. <laughs> but I love all of this. Oh, I fell totally in love. And then I have it the front and the back. All right, you guys. So I went to my favorite thrift store and then the next morning I had to go back and pick up this. <laughs> I don't know why I did not get it when I first saw it. I had to sleep on it because I didn't want to buy something just to buy it. Now, you guys, this is called Holly Hobby Light Up Drawing Desk and this was made in the 70s my phone died on me so i came home and looked it up online and i thought yep i need to go back and get this some of you guys may have had this so you may recognize this but it reminds me when i first started crafting i used to have like a light box to emboss well this reminded me of my light box which i got rid of i found the original box let me show you what's in it not sure if you can see the light, but it has a cord that you plug into the wall. And yes, the light, <laughs> it still comes on. <laughs> so nice to have something so old. I was born in the 70s, so I'm a 70s girl. And I'm so happy this was still available when I went back. So let me show you the contents. Because the original design sheets, they're still in the box so I guess you take this and use your pencils and there's a couple I'm thinking these might be the originals I don't know but you take your sheets with a piece of paper and this paper looks kind of aged so it might be the original paper as a matter of fact you know what let me try to do it it looks like whoever had this threw out this girl so let's see how this works. If you guys have this, please leave me a comment. Okay, so you take your paper and, oh, you put it over like that. And then you can see where to trace. Oh, so stinking cool. <laughs> but I think it's just cool. It's cool to have this. And who knows I mean I probably had one of these growing up and just don't remember so this was five dollars but I got 20% off. so I'm not going to have time to share my tags in this video but I will shortly before I share my special black Santa wrapping paper I do want to share this adorable thrift store find can you believe that somebody got rid and this is a long roll of bare wrapping paper i can't even show you the whole roll i mean it still goes on and on and on i paid no more than a buck 50 maybe a dollar i think it was half price 
for this whole roll. It was spanking brand new with the plastic on it. It's of these very large bears. So you know when I saw this, I swooped it up real quick. Okay, so I have an eBay find to share. Now this is black Santa wrapping paper, but not the one, you know, I intended to show you. But I was looking for black Santa wrapping paper. And if you've ever searched for it, you know it's rare, it's hard to find, and you have to find the semi-vintage type paper. This was made, I think, in the 70s, and I got this on eBay. Super duper adorable. I will use this sparingly <laughs> because, you know, this cost me a pretty penny, but it was so worth it. I love the repeat pattern. But as I searched for Black Santa wrapping paper, I came across a website that actually sells Black Santa santa wrapping paper and this family started their business because like me they were on the hunt for black santa paper and couldn't find it and so now they manufacture this beautiful black santa wrapping paper and they have two styles and i don't recall the name of their santa but this is their second style absolutely love it the wrapping paper is reasonable these rolls are not as thick as the rolls i showed you i think the price is about seven dollars and the shipping is flat rate you pay about seven five six bucks for the shipping and you get it within like three days because they send it priority but you guys if you are looking for black santa wrapping paper you must check out this site I will have it linked in my description box it's below. It's called Green Top Gifts. And like I said, I got my wrapping paper very quick. The quality is great. They only have the two patterns, but they sell socks and things like that. The gift tags. And I just, I love this. <laughs> and by the way, their wrapping paper was just featured in Oprah's O Magazine. Okay, so I got a minute so I can share something else. Look what I found today. This is Precious Moments. I think the company started in the 80s. And twice I have found a lot of the Precious Moments magazines from when they first started for a quarter a piece. I just found my second lot several days ago. And today I found this. It plays music. It's the Holy Bible. The nativity is um, in the front. And then I need to change my light out because, well, it lights up in some way. The price says $12.50, but I got this half price. <laughs> and to end this video, you guys know I love gingerbread. So I was so super happy. I went into um, a Goodwill today, and I think this was the only thing I got from the store. I'm so happy my eyes came across this little package now my goodwill the one closest to me they can be very expensive they can have one item priced for four dollars like they had stamps there for four dollars per stamp i'm like so not worth it but this was so worth it i found a bag <laughs> okay so you know i love bears so there's a couple bears and the rest are gingerbread creations so stinking cute i had never seen these before they're backed with a pin i think someone may have made these and you know what i will try to duplicate and make some of these i'm not sure if they used a rubber stamp or what but these are just stinking cute right so i have my two favorite characters bears and gingerbread creation. Real quick, I want to show you my floating candle. As you can see, the flame is higher, and I added some smell good. I added vanilla and tangerine, and this will burn for at least 12 hours with a half an inch of oil, so it'll burn longer with more oil. Well, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.